his breath for letting me stay here tonight. Oh, what are friends for? With friends like you, that enemies need not apply. But, um, why do you want to stay here? <laughs> yeah, hun. Why not be cuddled up at home with your hunk of hunk of burning love, Louise? Louise and I, we, we had a horrible fight, and I just, I don't want to see him again tonight. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, me too, hun. I feel very sorry for you. Well, listen, um, why don't you just sit right down and I'll get you an afghan and you can get all cuddly, okay? If Beth has her way, it'll end up being a shroud. Please, don't go to any trouble on my account. No problem. Listen, you said that my plot to make Sheridan's murder look like a suicide wouldn't work because she wouldn't be able to stay here long enough to make it look believable. Guess what? Poor, despondent Sheridan is going to spend the night here. And when we wake up in the morning, she won't. She'll be dead. How are you going to do it, buddy? How are you going to make sure it instead look like a suicide this time? I am going to break up more of your sleeping pills oh. and put them in her teeth. Oh, yeah, that worked so well before. It will, as long as you and Precious don't try to switch the cups. Mm -hmm. Oh, here you go, Sheridan. Oh, thank you. Um, is there anything else I could get you? Some tea, maybe? Uh, no, no, thank you. Um, you know, maybe... Coming here wasn't such a good idea. Maybe I should leave. No, 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 no. Listen, it's late. You're upset. If you felt uncomfortable here before, please let me make it up to you. OK. Good. All right, Precious, you go check Mother's diaper. And I'm going to talk to Sheridan. I know. I know. Could you just do it? <laughs> All right, listen. Do you feel up to talking about your fight with Luis? Oh, Precious, your hands are cold. Well, when I left earlier, when Martin called to tell me that my mother was leaving on the crane jet, it turns out that Rebecca stowed Gwen away on the same jet with Teresa's baby. They left Harmony, too? Yes. My mother, Gwen, oh. Teresa's baby, they're all gone. And the note that my mother left said that, that she was leaving for good and she didn't want to come between Luis and me. Hmm. So that's what the fight was about. Well, this is, this is all Luis's fault. I mean, he's always blamed my mother for, for making it seem like she's the reason that his father walked out on his family all those years ago. And what Luis doesn't understand is that I love my mother no matter what. And I've always felt like he's been making me choose between the two of them. Mm. And my mother's felt that same way, and so that's why she's left. I'm just, I'm so angry at Luis, and I still am. Yeah, gosh, I just, I hate, I hate it that you and Luis are having problems. Thank you for being so understanding. I mean, oh. you, your mother, and Precious. Oh, you know what Precious and I always say? Beth will kill you with kindness. <laughs> Thank you for being such a great friend to both Luis and me. Fiend is more like it. I really need your advice. Oh, um, no. I, I don't want to make a bad situation oh. worse. Trust me, Beth, things could not get any worse between Luis and me. Well, okay. So what should I do? I mean, should I give up on having a relationship with my mother so I can have one with Luis? Or should I just tell Luis to get over it or get lost? I mean, please, help me. What should I do? <gasps> it's like asking the devil himself for advice, huh? You know, before I give you any advice, I really need to know exactly what you said to Luis. Oh. It's, it's too horrible to repeat. All I can say is that it was the worst fight that we've ever had. And I, I still can't believe how dismissive Luis was about my feelings to my mother. 
I mean, he knows how hard it was for me when my mother died and, and how difficult it was for me to grow up without her. And then to have her back. I mean, Luis all but ordered me to stay away from her. And I, I don't know, is it just me? It, it just doesn't seem fair to me. I, am, am I wrong for wanting to have my mother in my life? You know, Sheridan, you and Luis are both my friends. Maybe I should just keep my opinions to myself. Beth, really, anything you say will stay in my confidence. Promise? I promise. So what should I do? Should I stand my ground and, and risk losing Luis? Or should I just promise to never see my mother again if she comes back to Harmony? Oh, whatever Beth says, Sheridan should do the opposite. So Beth, what should I do? You're a woman. A nasty, crazy one. What should I do about Luis and my mother? You love Luis, right? Oh, God, yes. I, I, I love Luis with all of my heart and soul. I just, I never thought I would ever meet a man as wonderful as him. You know, and the way he holds me, you know, when I'm in his arms, I just feel so safe and special. And, oh, God, the way that he makes love to me, just. Okay, oh. okay. Uh, you love your mother too, right? Oh, yes. I mean, I, I love my mother so much. I know that she made mistakes, but. I buy that my father abused her to the point where she had to leave him the way that she did. You know, it was hard for me growing up without her. I always thought that she was dead. But now that I know that she's alive, I just, I want to make up for lost time. Yeah. I mean, the bond between a mother and daughter is just really special. Here in this house, it's crazy glue. And then look at Luis and, and Pilar. They're really close. And I think that's wonderful. Well, so it's okay then for Luis to tell you you can't be close to your mother? Uh-oh. I mean, if Luis can tell you that you can't be close to Catherine, I'm sorry, my opinion, but I think you have every right to tell him that he can't ever see Pilar again. I can't tell Luis to never see Pilar again. But it's okay for Luis to tell you that you can't see your mother? Well, that's just different, you know? Pilar has never been anything but good to Luis. She's never hurt him the way that my mother has hurt me. And not only did I have to suffer in her absence, but Luis blames her for luring his father into disappearing with her, leaving his family high and dry. Well, it seems like you already decided that you're gonna do what Luis wants and agree never to see your mother again, so. What? Do you want me to drive you back to the cottage so you can see Luis and tell him he was right and you were wrong? No, no, Beth, that's not what I mean. I'm not saying that I agree with Luis. I'm just saying that his relationship with his mother is far different than mine with my mother. Oh, okay, so you do want to be close to your mother despite what Luis wants. Yes, I mean, I love my mother, but you know, at the same time, what if she never comes back to Harmony? What if I never see her again? Then the whole point becomes moot. What if she does come back? What if she calls you, wants to meet you someplace? I guess I hadn't considered that. Nothing's really solved. If you don't, what should I do? Well, you asked me for my advice, okay? So I'm going to give it to you. Here we go. Like I said, the bond between a mother and a child is super strong. Like you and your mother, like Luis and his mother, me and my mother. It's a good thing that Beth is not attached to a lie detector. <sighs> Thank you, Officer Simeon. Well, Ms. Wallace. Are you ready to begin? Yes. I have no reason to lie. Very well. Did you hide the gin? OK. Yes, I hid the gin. What? 
Are you a good, fake mother to Marty? Yes. All right. Are you a scheming psycho who lives to hurt me? No. I mean, if, if someone tried to stop me from being close to my mother, I would have to assume that they didn't love me enough to want me to be happy. I just don't think that Luis is like that. I, I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but you have to. Sheridan, if Luis says he loves you, but now he's gonna make you choose between him and, and, and Catherine? Look, there's only one thing you can do. What? You can never see Luis again. Beth, I could never not see Luis again. This is why Beth never wrote an advice column. Look, I know what I'm suggesting. It's extreme, and I would never totally expect you to, you know, not see Luis, but... You, you gotta get your own life with your own friends, people who love you, whether Luis approves of them or not. You're right. And I appreciate your honesty, which is why I have to be honest with you now, because there's still one person that I wanna have in my life that is a problem for both you and Luis. Oh? Who? Oh. Marty, I still, can't stop thinking that he is my little boy, and I'm so sorry. I, I've tried, but I just can't stop thinking of him that way. So much for letting you live. Well, I, I know you've had a really hard time losing your baby and Antonio, your mother. Yeah, it's it's been really hard. And, you know, I, I know that Luis keeps telling me that Marty is your son and that I should believe him, but there are just times that I can't. I'm sorry. And, and you, Beth, I mean, all the times that I've accused you of stealing my baby. Can you ever forgive me? Yeah. Of course I'll forgive you. Thank you. Thank you for being so kind and, and understanding. <laughs> oh. Just glad to help. You have. Believe me. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna call Louise. I'm gonna tell him I wanna get things back on track, that I, I don't wanna fight anymore. You know, I, I just, I love him so much, and I can't stand the thought of spending one night away from him. No, you can't call Louise. Why, Beth? Why can't I call Louise? Why don't you want me to talk to Louise, Beth? Because, um, because fighting is exhausting. Emotionally and physically draining and I'm, I'm sure that Luis is wiped out, too. You should just get a good night's sleep and then talk to him, OK? OK. I, okay. You're right. I, I'm in no shape to work things out tonight. Good. Um, well, the guest room's all set up, so go get settled, and I'll come up with some tea. Becky is planning to kill Sheridan after all. I don't know, Beth. You know, I really don't want to put you out. Maybe I should just go stay at the mansion. No, no. I mean, Luis might see you. Just, just stay. You're right. I am tired. Oh, OK. All right. Well, good night. Good night, Mrs. Wallace. <laughs> Precious. Good night, sweetheart. This is perfect. I told Precious you were gonna try and kill Sheridan again. What choice do I have? Precious, make a list. I mean it, Mother. Sheridan still thinks that Marty is her son, and she's obviously gonna go back to Louise, even though he's trying to keep her away from Catherine. It, it, it just won't do. So you'll do in poor Sheridan? I'm gonna give her a whole bunch of these. In the morning, when we wake up, we're gonna go into the guest room and act shocked to see her dead with this empty bottle of pills and a note next to the bed saying that she just couldn't take it anymore. 
<laughs> okay, okay, let's let's pretend that we're shocked. Practice shock. Uh, come on, mother. Uh, uh, come on. Good, good. Okay, precious, come on. Pretend you're shocked. Oh, that's so good. Okay, okay. Beth, you you are evil and crazy. Sheridan is going to die. And I will never be considered the murderer. Oh. Then I'm gonna get Luis to marry me. Me, Marty's mother. In your dreams, Missy. Oh, it's true. Be a dream come true when Sheridan commits suicide.